Number five, it's one of my favorite numbers, the magic number. So number five, it is, it is the number of great magic. It is a key to the great Akasha, the Akashic records, which is why it is so powerful that it speaks of a book in this chapter. And so the Akashic records, it is the records of all that is. Every lifetime is there. The past, the present, the future, and the parallel lifetimes are all within the Akash. Every thought, every emotion, every potential timeline is within the great Akash. And so the Akasha is directly connected to the element of the ether. They are one. You can make the connection through the ancient Sanskrit teachings that teaches how Akasha means sky or ether in Sanskrit. They still use the word Akasha or Akash in India and places around there. Ancient, ancient wisdom. And it's quite interesting because Sanskrit is a very numerological language. It comes from a very numerological system. And so we've been speaking quite a bit about the language of numbers and geometry throughout what we have explored in the book of Revelations the past few days. So you can really begin to cognize and create a map, form a map within your understanding in the process of ascension and what is being depicted through here. This is why the language of numbers and geometry is so powerful because it really grounds the higher dimensional wisdom. It provides you with a very solid foundation in multidimensional awareness, which is very important. And so it mentions a book. Now, what that book is, is open to speculation, but it's very interesting how it is connected to the number five. Oh yes, and so the connection between Akasha and the Aether, and then I'm gonna take you to the numbers now. Then you have the element of the Aether, which is geometrically speaking, formed through the platonic solid of the dodecahedron, which has pentagon faces. Now, a pentagon has five vertices. And so I often make this connection. If you follow me on Instagram, if you see my graphics, I've spoken about it quite a bit on YouTube as well. And obviously at the school, the geometry of the pentagon connected to the element of the ether and the Akasha. And it is also connected to our DNA. If you want to understand how the Akasha has the capacity to determine our genetic coding, you can see the connections through the geometry. So our DNA, the molecular structure of our DNA is formed through pentagons and hexagons. The hexagons, they also are connected to the geometry of the Star of David. And so this is why geometry is such a powerful key. Also, the language of numbers is a very powerful key. Numbers and geometry, they are directly connected. They come hand in hand. And they really provide you with that mathematical framework into understanding this higher dimensional awareness. They really assist you in being able to cognize these multidimensional realms and being able to bring an understanding to what is being shared here in the book of Revelations. 